This is Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Kurt Dove. I want to give you a little recap of the last couple of events I fished up here in the uh, what, what a lot of people call the North Country, but uh, I'm actually idle in between the uh, St. Lawrence River Elite Series event and the uh, St. Clair Elite Series event that's coming up actually next week. And uh, actually over here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at my in-laws' house, we got a cool little lake here right behind us called Indian Lake. So we're just getting out here and and uh, going over some fishing stuff. So pretty cool, a lot of fun, and, and always got to get some time to do these kinds of things. But one of the important things about um, the last couple of events, you know, I did pretty good at the Oneida event. Um, I finished 20th place and, and not as well as I really wanted at the St. Lawrence event, finishing 51st. But I want to go over a couple of quick tips on the uh, tactics that I was using in that particular event and, and what's just been really successful for me. And, uh, you know, pretty simple, we are drop shotting. So, you know, everybody kind of understands the drop shot technique and, and how that works. You know, you've got your got your hook and, and your weight and, of course, your spinning rod, you know, most of the time. Um, I, I really prefer to use a spinning rod. I know some people like to use a casting rod, but um, equipment, real quick. I like the uh, Powell 703, Powell 703 spinning rod. Um, what this spinning rod gives you is uh, excellent tip. So when you feel those light, subtle strikes, really good. Then once you get the bite, it's got the backbone to really fight those fish, keep them hooked up for you. So that's why I like that Powell 703. You know, I don't get into a whole lot of fancy reels. You know, this is just a Fluger present reel. It's a, a $60 reel. It does really good for me. It's got a great drag system. The most important part of my connection to the fish is my line. So, uh, of course, I'm using Torre Fishing Line. Um, a lot of people haven't heard a whole lot about Torre. They're really making a move here in the American market. And uh, I've been fishing Torre Line for about four years. I'm using 33-pound bow finesse braid. Awesome braided line. It's an eight-strand braid. It's got no wax coatings. It's wound very tightly. It's, it's the smoothest braid, no doubt, on the market. Then I'm hooking that braid up with a double uni knot. So I'm using a double uni knot. Um, you can check out how to, how to tie that on YouTube, but that's going to connect my braid and my fluorocarbon together right there with that double uni knot. And I'm using 7 pound super hard upgrade Torre fluorocarbon. Okay, so 7 pounds critical because one thing, you're going to detect a lot more strikes with the 7 pound test. And, and number two, your visibility in that really clear water is going to be low, the line visibility for the fish. So um, the hook using just a little small owner mosquito hook nothing real big you know you don't have to use a big giant hook when you're when you're small mouth fishing um, you know they do have really small mouths and uh, you just really want to use a small hook almost like a pin you know just to pin it in there and it'll stay stay connected really well another important key to it tungsten drop shot this is a range drop shot weight I know a lot of people you know don't use tungsten because you know sometimes it's expensive but i tell you what if you use tungsten in tournament situations you're going to feel a lot more fish bites because it's going to keep your line more ton it's going to give your line even more sensitivity as well as you're going to know when you're in the juice you're going to be able to feel the bottom of the of the you know lake and when you get in those hard rough spots that tungsten is going to tell you that so that you can slow down a little bit more and keep your bait in the strike zone so uh, baits that I had a lot of success with the last couple weeks, um, of course you got your, your standard goby bait. You know, goby bait is, is a big a big thing here. Um, you know, I, I used a couple other baits, especially the highly scented baits, and, and even put you know a lot of my own scent on some baits. But the uh, the Berkeley Gulps very effective. You know, I'll throw the Optum Wacky Shad every once in a while and, and soak that in some good. Um, you know solution that, that has some good smell to it for the fish as well but those smallmouth you know they really feed visually and they feed a lot by by smell so it's important to have scent and, and a good looking bait on the end of your line so um check these tactics out if you're up north smallmouth fishing drop shot and you, you really can't go wrong no matter what time of year it's uh it's a phenomenal way to catch a smallmouth up here and um hopefully there's a couple few tips there that you can use to catch you some more fish y'all have a great one